if you spoke to a Jew in Poland, right? And you, in 1933, and you came to him and you said, you know, there's this new regime in Germany. And, um, and you told him, these guys are about as bad, bad as, as, you know, Chmelnitsky or the Cossacks. Um, the people that you're talking to will say to you, how dare you? I had relatives, granted it was a long time ago, I had relatives that died at the hands of these people. I had relatives that died at the hands of those those guys, those Cossacks. They're, they're, those people were barbarians. How dare you compare today to then? You know, the, the, the Germans are civilized people. They listen to music, they have culture, they have art. They have, uh, you know, universities, they have intellect. You're comparing... Um, uh, these people to to those barbarians that murdered us, you know, whenever it was, three hundred years ago, two hundred years ago. My friends, they would be highly, highly offended. You know, they would say the Germans uh, did not harm us in World War One. Why the hell would they do that? Do it now, my friends. Um, my grandfather, who I'm named after. He was an officer in the Soviet army, you know, before the war. And, and, and he came to Berdichev, where he was born. He came to his father, my great-grandfather, Yanko, Yanko Pinchas. And he came to him and he, and he tried to warn him. And he tried to tell him, you know, the Germans are coming. This is probably already 1939. And you know what my, my great-grandfather told him? He's like, what are you talking about? Our enemy is Stalin. He's our enemy. Our enemy is not this Hitler guy. You know, the Germans helped us in World War One. What are you talking about? You have your orders. Go to the go to the front lines. You have your you have your orders. You're an officer. Go do what you gotta do. But I'm staying here. I have a business. You know, your wife will stay here with me. Your wife and your kid. My daughter in law, whatever. And so my grandfather left. He went to the front. Um, my great grandfather and my grandfather's first wife and kid were liquidated. So, my friends, like, it's very easy for us to sit today in the year 2021 and look back with hindsight and watch History Channel and Discovery Channel. Documentary after documentary after documentary, uh, and 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 understand how did this even come to be? How did the years 1941 to 1945 even come to be? We can watch the year, you know, 1917, when Mister a man named Hitler was in World War One as a soldier, until 19 oh, and then through 1933, where he hired a, a guy by the name of Goebbels to do propaganda. You know, and to accuse everybody else of misinformation and to censor everybody else and just run basically, you know, the prequel to uh, big tech, right? And then we can watch all the way in the lead up to 1939, 1940. We, can, we have the luxury of that, my friends. We have the luxury of hindsight. We have the luxury of crystal clear vision. And we have the luxury of understanding that the people who came to power in Germany at that time, at that time, were not regular Germans, the intellect, I mean, they were intellectual, but they weren't just these, only these cultured guys who were into music and, and art and university and all the rest of it. These were people who were into all of those things, but on top of that, more importantly, my friends, these were psychopaths who thought that, in this particular case, a certain group of people uh, didn't, didn't deserve to live, you know, it was either us or them, or them or, or, you know, it was either them or us, or those people, which, namely us, <laughs> um, on top of that, they thought that they were like the superior race or whatever it is, right, and, 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 and their main thing was eugenics, my friends, as I always tell people, 
Dr. Mengele was a doctor. That's why when you t I hear people say to me, are you a doctor? I say, sometimes I say, I'm glad I'm not. I'm glad I'm not, because Dr. Mengele was a doctor. Dr. Mengele was an expert. Dr. Mengele was a specialist. Dr. Mengele was reputable. He was a doctor. He went to medical school. He had a license to practice medicine, my friends. So, guys, you know, so these people were psychopaths. And, you know, the thing about psychopaths, and, and by the way, we would consider them psychopaths um, no matter what, they, what background they were, whether they're German, whether they're, you know, I don't know, English, it doesn't matter. Uh, this kind of psychopathy, psychosis, transcends culture, transcends nationality, transcends race, my friends. This is, this is basically a, a universal thing. It is Amalek. Okay? Amalek can come in many different forms. In this particular case, it came in the form of, of the Germans. Or, so, or the people that were claiming to lead them. Right? And my friends, you know, the thing about psychopaths, no matter where you go, the thing about psychopaths is, is that they um, they usually do their work while we, people like us, are busy being offended. You know, we're offended at everything today. You know, I just read an article that's, that these kids in Oberlin College, surprise, surprise, were offended that cisgender males came to fix their heating and air conditioning systems in their dorm rooms. Why couldn't they be come when the dorms were empty while we were on break? This is, you know, these guys really made us nervous. They really, my friends, this was an article on Fox News uh, website. Somebody sent it to me. I don't read the Fox News website. I thought it was, I had to double check and make sure it wasn't, uh, you know, Babylon B or, or uh, what's the other one? Uh, on the Onion, you know? I had to make sure, check that it was like a reputable news source or some kind of a, you know, legit news source. Let's put a real article for that matter. So guys, um, so yeah, these guys do their work while we're busy being offended, right? And that's actually what gives them power. What gives them power is our inability at that time that they're doing their work, most people's inability, not all people, but most people's inability to see them coming, to see them doing their work, until it's too late, guys. Until it's too late. We're in the battle with Amalek. You know, we know Amalek attacked, uh, Amalek attacked the vulnerable, the elderly and kids. And you could see this is what they're doing today. They, they first said, well, we're only going to give it to elderly or 65 and over. And now they're like, we're running to do the, you know, the kids. The kids, the kids, the kids. Because the kids can carry and can give it to them. My friends, it's just, you have to realize this. You have to see it. And if you don't see it, I can't help you. And if you're offended at what I just said, I can't help you either. Sorry, not sorry. Again, get a lawyer and sue me. Cancel me. Um, uh, you know, unlike this page, unfollow me. I don't know what to tell you. Unfriend me. I really don't know. But my friends, the only thing I want you to do, or I don't want you to do, is to come to me in a year or two and say, how come you didn't tell me? I wasn't told. Or to ask me, Tzvi, how did you know? Don't ask me how I knew. Just, Wake up. Don't ask me how I know. I know because I know. That's basically it, guys. Again. Psychopaths are busy doing their work while you are busy being offended. All right, guys. Love it,